What's going on guys? It's me Pavin. And if you guys are looking to improve your Madden game and want to learn firsthand from someone who's made deep runs in the Madden $750,000 club championship tournament, I'm your guy. I recently just dropped my New York Jets offensive ebook and alongside that is my game plan for additional $10. So my offensive ebook is $20, game plan 30, game plan you get a couple defensive setups and I will be updating both these ebooks, both these game plans as the year goes on. Really great offer. The link will be down in the description. Go check it out, 818madden.com. I know this will make you a better Madden player. Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Road to the Classic. This is the finale, episode number five, guys. And in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down my last couple games of the Road to the Classic series, aka um, this time we're gonna be doing the PS4 side. So as you could recall in the last video, I broke down my final you know, couple games on the Xbox side. We lost in the round of 32. This time, we're going to try to see how far we made it on the PS4 set. And that's the beautiful thing about these classics and challenges. That's on both consoles. You have technically two lives, you know. And in my opinion, I felt like my bracket was a little easier than most people. So, you know, I feel like I could definitely take advantage and possibly make a run, guys. Nonetheless, this is the finale. Like I said, if you did enjoy this series, please hit that like button. And potentially, very, very soon, uh, the Madden Challenge, a.k.a. Uh, you know, DC is coming up. If you guys want to see another series just like that, um, you know, just like this, I should say, hit that like button and let me know, man. I got some nice glitches for DC and I definitely had to get better at it. And, you know, that's where the road of the road of the challenge comes in. You know, we'll get all better all together. So, like I said, I'll catch you in the gameplay. Enjoy this finale of the road of the classic. All right, guys. So this is the round of 32. We win this. We're going to the round of 16. We're going to get in the money. And, you know, we're this much closer to making top four. And we're playing sprint. He's a guy on Twitter, man. Is right here. We're going to be able to hit a nice little jet stick flat route for a nice couple of yards. And as you see right here, he is rocking the 335 wide defense. It's right here. We're just hitting a simple table route. Excuse me, not a table route. A simple out route for another gain of 17. And right here, Z spot coach, get to pass lead that, and we are in the end zone just like that. Three plays, easy touchdown, and that's that's the best possible thing, honestly. You see right here, my opponent is actually in the Jets bunch as well, and he pops off a nice halfback base all the way to the 50, and you know, that's on me. I spread my D-line. Um, I didn't really play the run too well. So after that, I was expecting him to run again, and there it is. We shot that gap clean. Instead of shooting a backside, you have to just, you just gotta attack the guard, honestly, guys. If you spread your D-line and someone's running base, just attack the guard and you're gonna shoot in like that some of the time. Let's see right here, third and eight early. My opponent, um, is, he's gonna be a fourth and two, man. It's gonna be a fourth and two. It's right here, we're in match, man. And um, yeah, this is this seems like good defense. Jair's right there. I don't know why, I think I went for a swat. I should have picked it. Um, honestly, that looked a little fluky. It looked like he could have caught it. I don't know how, man. Um, but to say the least, he did have that inside post. It definitely could have been a touchdown, and, you know, I will take that. See right here, man, just dumping it off to Aaron Jones, um, trying to get a couple yards. Right here, we just hit an out route to MVS. Table route to Aaron Jones, man. We're going to juke and jive, but honestly, it doesn't really matter. We're just going to get our first and be content with this, and we're going to let this drip to the second quarter, boys. And right here, man, this is the first time I'm going to run the ball. I'm just going to test his run D and... You know, it, it did stop me, but I, I like the look I had. You know, if I out, out, uh, outrun Kenny Clark, which in, re in reality I should have done, um, you know, it'll be a nice game next time. And boys, if you if you do play a lot of regs, this play is the go-to play. Z spot, man. Um, Devontae Adams torches on it, and we're just going to lob that, loft that up. Nice, easy pass lead. Touchdown. We're up 14-0, boys. I see right here, you could peep the adjustments. Tight end, slot receiver, and the running back are manned up. And, you know, it really turned out to be a nice bag right there. I don't know what play he called, but that out route, I'm not, that in route kind of ran really deep. Um, I might have to ask him or whatever that, whatever route that was. It, it was pretty glitchy. And per usual, guys, I'm in the 4-6 defense. It's definitely, I feel like, the best in regs. Um, as right here, he had the one running back wheel route for a nice game, but I'll take that. I, I had Rashawn Gary and a vert hook on that side. And I feel like sometimes that slant is just unguardable, man. I, I don't know if you guys can relate to that, but that motion slant, sometimes it just, I don't know, it just seems to get the most yards for no reason. Right here, he runs mesh post again. Excuse me, not mesh post. He ran jets dig, and uh, my guy got nano detected on the right. So, 
So that's the thing that happens when you send these blitzes. Like, you could come in free, but there is a gamble. And, you know, when he sends out five and I send five and, you know, could come in free, it does suck when, you know, he gets nano detected. It's right here. I thought I could get back to the slant. Crazy user, in my opinion. He was going to have Robert Tanyan, but um, I don't know, man. I guess he didn't trust Tanyan to run that route to his perfection. And, you know, I try to get back there with Savage. But it is all good, man. And my opponent, you know, he's moving the ball, man. I never said I was going to, you know, lock him up. He's been able to move the ball so far. See right here, my opponent is in bunch tight end now. And I, I play really good defense. I should have hard flatted that quarter flat. That's on me, I admit it. It's right here, my opponent is going to get the two-minute warning, uh, you know, insta-hike. He didn't instantly hike it, but it is, you know, it's still a nice flood route, uh, flood route, flat route by the tight end. Try saying that a couple times, man. That was definitely difficult to say. That's right here. He runs Z spot. Nothing open, nothing open, nothing open. And he's going to throw it away. Match coverage comes up big for us. Another fourth down and two, man. Definitely, definitely, uh, you know, big fourth downs on the way. Right here, we run match again. What's broke, don't fix. And he gets cheated. Thank you, God. Um, that was very unfortunate. I feel bad for him because Sprint's a good guy. And I don't really know what happened there. Um, but, you know, I will surely take that. It's right here, man. We audible to the gun open. Whatever, gun bunch offset open or whatever it is. And, yeah, just ag him, coach. Just ag him, Devontae. Right here, my opponent is making some good adjustments, but it doesn't matter. MVS is going to crib this for you, for us. We're up 21-0. Moving on to the next game, man. GG's a sprint. On to the round of 16. Guys, this is an instant classic. Um, we're playing. No nanos, please. Um, in other words, his name is Send Him Around, I want to say. He's been playing Madden for quite a bit. And, you know, this guy, I won't lie, he's had my number for a couple years. And, you know... He runs tight offset, which is really, really glitchy in regs. Uh, the thing is, that makes it so glitchy is he knows how to run it really well. And I really haven't played it at all. So um, I was definitely asking my friends, what defense should I run? What should I do? In reality, I should have stuck to my guns and ran what I've you know, been running. And that's what I always should do. It's right here. We're going to hit Z spot. And, you know, what happened last game to sprint just happened to us. Um, very unfortunate animation, but it's all good, man. It's third and inches. We didn't lose the game on that. Um, you know, it's a long game. You see right here, his corners are shifting left to right. It's right here. I think I had a touchdown, boys. Let me know if I had a touchdown to that right side. Um, I had numbers to that right side. and it, it Just just terrible defense by my opponent. I don't know what happened. I think the flip messed him up. So, you know, it is what it is. And this game, man, there's a lot of fluky things that happen to me um, with my quarterback. It's right here. You will see one of them. Low ball and accurate. At least I didn't throw a pick, man. There's, there's always a bright side to some of these plays. But, yeah, like, uh, I, I just can't connect to Devontae for some reason early. And, you know, that is it is what it is. Um, that's my number one target for sure. It's right here. That's my second target. And we're not able to get that many yards. So it's looking like a third and eight, man. That's right here. We're just going to run a bunch to the short side. Once more out of flat, but I maybe should have waited. I was just a little, I was a little tense this game. Um, he sent the blitz right there, and I just wanted to get the ball out. When in reality, I don't think anyone came in. And yeah, okay, well, someone did come in. But a big fourth and three right here. My opponent doesn't flip his cornerback on the right side. Peep that. So I'm going to have numbers to the left. And maybe I taught in, but that's a much safer read. Taking Z spot and just get moving the chains, man. Big play alert right here, guys. Look for Devontae Adams once more. Running this flood play. It's a really, really good play, and it works in mud too. I'm not gonna lie. And we're just gonna pass lead this baby up. Touchdown, good guys, and I'm feeling hype. So my opponent ran the ball in the first play, and I came out in Giants defense. And uh, you know, I, I was running a lot of one four six. Um, you know this whole tournament and i thought maybe i could catch him in it but as you see right there top bottom left two running backs one tight end two wide receivers we're not going to be able to run 146 anymore it's right here we're going to be having to run over g which isn't that bad as right here um just pretty good defense in my opinion everything was bagged up he may have had that right corner out but peep that play guys uh he's in love with that pa seams play it's right here. We're just going to get in over G, uh, 146, excuse me. And, like, the alignment is so messed up, and no one even screamed right there. But we're going to get him to a fourth and two very, very early, guys. See right here? 
sending the blitz off that left side. He audibles to the right. In reality, what I should have done is I should have blitzed the right side now. Um, my alignment was all kind of messed up, and you know, I don't know. Usually, I think I could scream, and this time we just we just just let's watch the result. No one comes in, and he has an easy drag. I should have definitely got a little more aggressive. Maybe manned up a couple guys. That's right here. We're back in the over G, man, and we get bombed. Crazy, crazy bomb. Um, that's the first time I'd seen that. Basically, I don't know if that's because I was pressing my over G or, sh you know, show blitzing it, but I don't know. That that third just got glitched, and that was Jair as well. So, yeah, man, to say the least, um, I'm definitely a little shook now. My opponent looks really, really good on offense. It's right here. We're going to hit that flat, and like I said, there are some fluky things that were happening, man. Uh, Robert Tanyan, brick. And you know what's the craziest part, boys? He has 98 catching. Obviously, it doesn't matter right there because he just plain flat out drops it. And here it is, man. By far the biggest play of the game so far. And he's going to send a blitz. We insta throw the flat and we just run upfield. I didn't want a truck to get the yards. We get sticky. We go to the inside and Aaron Jones is out, man. And I was so hype after this play, man. And, you know, in the future, that's, those, these games are the games I'm going to definitely live stream, man. That, that, that interaction is what I live for. Those, these moments right here, I wish you could have seen how I, I was. As you see right here, simple flat route. And he just couldn't make a tackle. I, I guess I was a little blessed, but I think I was going to get the first regardless. So, you know, either way, I'm, I'm chilling. And back to defense we go, man. And, you know, it, it's really as simple as this. If we get a stop, we're going to win the game. And... Um, right here, my opponent starts to cook up, and that was a hard flat on the right, guys. That was definitely a hard flat. You guys saw it, but, I mean, he still gets four yards. Let's see right here. We're manning up some guys, and we started to adjust. You know, we, we saw that he wanted that left seam, and right here, he goes to a nice play, and he didn't want to take his drags for whatever reason, and he was very, very, like, he was very cautious, to say the least. He wanted whatever read he had, he wanted to be wide open, and, you know, he didn't do with something dumb like throw that pass right there. He took it. He slid, and, you know, he was he was a very respectable and, you know, pretty good player. He's right here. Once more, man, that's dang table route. I guess it's that good, man. Uh, as, right, as you see right there, he gets another first down when I had someone manned up on him. You see right here, man, he is throwing that relentlessly. This time he doesn't catch it. You see right here, man, I definitely should have started looking for tells on the running back. As you see, oh, I didn't get to show my adjustments, but he hits me with the same bomb, man. I'm actually in disbelief at this moment. Um, I, I, I usually don't play bad defense like this, but you know over G isn't something I ran and you know next drive I plan to switch it up and get in you know wide And like I said man when I can't get a stop I kind of feel feel flustered. I know that's everyone in reality, but uh, You see right here. We're gonna lowball that but in reality me like it affects the way I play offense I don't know if you guys are the same way. I know Henry kind of is that way, too um when I, when I don't feel like I'm that good on defense, at least in that game, because I'm always usually good, man. We know that. You see right here, we kind of throw that. Uh, it was a hard flap, but you can really throw that and, you know, not be punished. But going back to what I said, man, when I can't get a stop, it definitely affects the way I play on offense. It's, it's not, you know, the best thing to have is right here. We are going to throw that in route. Low-key almost got lurked. Good user by him. And, you know, that was a decent pocket to say that. Um, but really, I maybe shouldn't have kept rolling out. I think you could throw that slant over any zone if you stand in the pocket. And, you know, by standing in the pocket, it'll make the in route way more open. See right here, man. I'm cooking up. And you see his cornerbacks going left, right, left, right. Um, his assignments, and as I should have waited, man, I had everyone open on that right side. His assignments for cornerback were by, I think, overall or by speed. He basically wanted... Jair in the slot as you see right here. I'm gonna try to take advantage of it I'm trying to call hike. I'm trying to call hike, but his user is there and Just oh my god. I had Devontae Adams wide open right there So trust me I now see that for later on in the game when I need it it's right here We're just trying to get this first down and he runs all out man, and I get back I should have had a better play versus man. I decided to throw it away in reality I probably could have waited and hit a bounce back guys and right here man. We're going for it on fourth down I maybe should have lowballed this in route, but that hook curl went crazy. I kind of didn't read it. Oh, that's just a great defense by my opponent. See right here, I'm in the 146. I can't let him get the touchdown. 
I mean, a three is what it is. What it is is right here. He's just gonna get easy field goal because my guys can't tackle, man. And that dang table route. I tell you what. Now you see right here. He's just gonna take the lead into half. And very, very bad sequence by me. Um, just very uncharacteristic. And uh, I just gifted him this game, as in, you know, he has a, a all advantage right now. But like I said, boys, this is an instant classic game. Um, probably one of my best games I played this year. See right here, he has Tanyan in at the right guy. As right here, he's gonna hit this rollout corner route, and that's the best play by far in this playbook. Is out, I think it's called. Uh, well, I don't know what the corner route is called the play itself, um, but you know we all know that corner route, that sharp breaks corner route, and he has Devonte on it, so it's gonna be very hard to stop. As right here, once more, we are in wide, and you know. The thing about Giants defense, coach, is we don't have the players we, that we need or slash want. We have linebackers out there. It's right here. Speaking of a linebacker, number 42, I think his name is Olden. I can't even say his name. Um, he gets that stop, but he does get two yards off it. Right here, we send the blitz, and we get caught on our guy. But Jair makes a play, and we're able to intercept it, man. Um, you know, I'm fine with a swap, but him catching it really hurts us, in my opinion. Either way, we're fine, especially if we hold the three. Right here, you see the play art once more. I'm running match, sending two this time. And I think maybe a couple people were open, but I usered them and, you know, great defense. I tried to click on, get a sack. That would have been nice and crucial, but he throws it away on time. And right here, boys, he dials up the perfect match beater. What happens to my left corner? And he throws a dot for a touchdown, man. And, you know, I'm, I lost all my morale right there. He dialed up the perfect match. Reader. We're going to rewind that. Guys, look at my left corner, Amos. He's in a quarter flat. Maybe should have readjusted him through a third. But the thing is, I never played tight offset. He looks like he's going to bag it. Everything is going to get back. And he runs to the middle of the field. Coach, what could I do about that? Um, just a good dot. That's all I could say. And see right here, I, I'm trying to go back to the glitch. And this time we're gonna have it outside pass lead and we're trying to run, we're trying to run, we're trying to run. But we get caught by someone who has 90 speed. Not too mad about that because he was up top, but hey, he started to realize what was going on. But you know, it was a little too late. I just wish I could have hit him, I'd hit him with that and it would have been a touchdown, it would been crucial. And then again, he still does the same thing He's right here. We're just gonna hit this out route to Darren Jones. And uh, why didn't I go out of bounds, man? Um, there is a thing you could do, boys. If you go out of bounds, um, even if it's a third quarter, first quarter, when it, when, even if it's not in a two minute warning scenario, um, you could still preserve the time by basically letting the play clock on the right go all the way to 15 seconds before you call a play. So, you know, it, it sounds a little complicated, but try it one time and you'll see the effects of it. It's right here, we're gonna hit this flat. And this is what we'll hope, I think we do this right here. Yeah, we're gonna do it right here. So, you know, uh, basically the play clock, when it goes to 15 seconds, I'm gonna call hike. And the thing is, none of that clock on the left is gonna, you know, run out for me. So, you know, as you see, this is gonna be a long sequence, long sequence, long sequence, but right here, 20 seconds coming up. Um, you'll see right here, I'm gonna call hike at 15 seconds, or call a play at 15, call a play. The left side, no time is ticking off with that auto runoff. Um, it's a really good feature that you guys should get, especially when you are fighting from behind. Um, it's really good to know it's right here. We're just going to roll out delay fade, and I really didn't have anything. We're going to throw it away. Good defense. As you see right here, we're going back to flood, and I could have thrown the tight end route for a couple yards, but I noticed what he was doing, man, and he was doing kind of the same adjustments a lot of the time. He was running, man. He was doing a hook curl from the, um, from, uh, the safety, top right safety. And right here, I decide, you know what? Instead of running mesh post, as he calls a timeout, I'm kind of glad he called a timeout because this is where I'll dial one up. I said, instead of running, you know, mesh or option route, let me just simply streak him up the field. And, you know, I should be able to throw this to the right corner of the end zone. And the hook curl is not going to be able to guard it. As we see right here, the hook curl is not going to be able to guard it. And boom, just a perfect dot for the scenario. He ran the same adjustments again. Now I'm trying to show a little bit of fight, guys. So after running on first down, um, I expect the run. He was just trying to get to a hash. We are in a, no, second and 11. And he literally called the perfect play, man. I was double mabeling. Basically what I mean by that is zone drop left, zone drop left, right. Uh, 25s and 5s, 20s and 5s. 
And you know what he did? He literally called the best play I've ever seen versus Mabel. He could, if, there's no way he was going to miss a read on that play, man. See right here, man. I'm just trying to get a stop on defense, doing whatever I need to do to get a stop. So right here, he's going to run again. And, you know, I'm kind of glad whenever he runs. I know he's trying to clock me out, but, you know, it, it's not a good play whenever he runs. So I'll take it, man. And right when I say that, he hits us with a dirty pass and we can't get off the block. Um, maybe should have audible the man for sure so I can match up the three on the three on the right. Good, good play design right there. Just, just another example of something I hadn't seen before. And like I said, man, I could 100% respect my opponent when he is on offense. It's right here. He is going to just roll out, throw the ball away so he could not get intentional grounding. And I'm in this stage right now where I'm just trying to blitz, trying to get someone to come in free. It's right here. I don't even blitz, and he's still able to get all these yards because Olden works. Um, He's a linebacker, he doesn't have zone, he doesn't have speed, and you know, I'm just just in a spot where now all I could do is hold him to three and try to get a drive. As you see right here, I like this defense, and it doesn't matter, even if I had Perry, I maybe probably should have shaded underneath um, and try to get glitchy. Nonetheless, good dot by him. I thought Perry was gonna make a play on someone He's faster than by two speed, but MVS is a dog. So right here, man, this is the goal line stop that we need to win the game. It's right here. We just, we kind of just we pinch our D line, get a nice shed. You know, he does get two yards. This is a scary moment. We switch it up to over G guys, and he passes. Very, very risky play call. And I try to get a pick on there, um, but you know, we just aren't able to. And right here, he goes into uh, his, his set offense, tight off set. And he is just gonna play this very passive and run the ball. Um, can, the thing is, can we stop it? And we are able to shoot it with Will Redmond. And there it is, man. We got our stop. I know I couldn't. It doesn't. It's not a real stop, but it is a stop. Still, we held him to three. We're gonna have life, coach. So you guys see the clock is ticking. I did run the ball on first down, and you know here we go. Um, I'm just gonna snap throw this table route, and thank God it didn't get picked. Um, just a very very wild animation and guys my whole focus my whole focal point on this drive is to make it the last drive of the game if i have a touchdown i'm not gonna take it um i know it sounds crazy but i i can't stop this guy i'm gonna be real and see right here we are just gonna take off with a rod and get our two yards three yards keep that clock moving and right here we just snap throw this table route excuse me not the table route. We got Devontae on the slant. And you see him. He doesn't care. He's just going to let us score. And I messed up big right here, man. I wanted to go down on purpose. That was on me. But what I wanted to do also is I wanted to go down on the one. And uh, just, just forgive me, guys. That was a crucial mistake for me to go down on the four. And right here, it doesn't matter. We're able to get to the two. Um, so we're still in business, man. Uh, but I trip. I still can't get to the one. It is second and goal, which I will, I will gladly take. It's right here. Mercedes Lewis on the fullback dive, and we just get blown up. And here we go. It's third down, man. It's third down on the way. Time is ticking. This is what I want, though, man. And you know what I was thinking this whole possession, this whole time this clock was ticking down. So you know what? I'm just going to pass. I'm just going to pass. Give him 30 seconds to go down and get three. And, you know, if he does, he, he wins the game. And I'll be fine with it. So, you know, I'm thinking to myself, I'm going to call PA spot. You see me? I'm hovering over PA spot. Excuse me for that airplane noise. But you see me right here. I did. I think I did come out in PA spot. And I just, I just like a dummy. I audible over. I think Power O is the solution, man. And we just get shedded. And it was a touchdown, man. It was a touchdown. It was going to be me or Amos. And I like my odds on that. But the thing is now I'm on the six, which honestly, it may be better to score in the six than like the two when I'm passing. So here we go, man. Um, I mean, Robert Tanya just sold so bad. I guess that is a Darius Smith. Can't expect too much. Maybe should have lined up a lineman right there. But here we go, man. We're going to dot something up for the bread. Let's see what we got. And I'm going to go back to the play that got me here, man. And you see, I was a little undecisive, but you know, reality, I like my chances. I probably should have maybe put MVS on this in route, but the play that got me here we're gonna throw it. We're gonna throw a dot. Under pressure for the win, for him, for the loss for us. And it's just a little unfortunate, man. Ah, that hurts because, you know, I had the chance to score, but at the end of the day, I think I did make the right decision. 
it just how happened to be that I got under pressure for the victory for him for the loss for us once more let's see we go straight to practice uh, the instant replay and boys I don't care if you think that was in a dot it definitely was a little bag I probably like I said should have put MVS on it it would have been way more open but like I liked my chances and he got an insta two-man rush which is unfortunate but in reality I should have moved Bakhtari there but like I said man uh, like that's just I feel like that's a dot um, I'm gonna get that diving catch and we're just gonna go out there win 28 27 GG to my opponent GG's to my opponent it was a fun Madden classic I really did enjoy this game mode of regs um, I fell in love with it low-key uh, I liked I just liked everything about it so it is unfortunate that's the way it ends um, I really did enjoy playing regs and um, just want to say congrats to my opponent he didn't end up unfortunately making the final four the final four for Xbox was Wesley, Spoto, Drini, and uh, Vos. So congrats to those four, especially Vos, man, for making a nice run. And then on the PS4 side, it was Drini and Wesley again. Ballers, man. And it was Six Sense who ended up beating the guy I just played um, in the next round. And then last but not least, it was Prodigy. So congrats to those uh, six. Just congrats to those eight. You know, I'm trying to do quick maths, but it's not working out. But you know, it was, a, it was a good tournament, a great run. Hopefully, we can bounce back in the Madden Challenge and potentially, you know, whatever else tournaments we have later on down the line. It was fun, like I said, um, and I felt like I was just a couple plays behind, and it is what it is, man. I'll be rooting for my guy, Wesley, to make a run in the final eight. We didn't go home empty-handed, though. We did, we did come up with $1,000, which is always nice and fun to be in the money, man. And, you know, it just I feel like I just put in time and I got rewarded um it's not the reward I wanted but you know that's always always encouraging man till next time I'll catch you in the next video be on the lookout for some mutt content and potentially some Madden challenge content aka draft champions stay safe stay smooth much love from your boy Pete